For millions of years, sharks have roamed the oceans and been the subject of human fear and fascination. But these ancient animals are facing a human-induced crisis, with many needing to be protected for their survival, such as the spotted ragged shark. But not all sharks are made equal along South Africa's 2,800 km coastline. As of 2017, only 13 of the 117 recognized shark species are protected. The kelp forests of South Africa are a unique ecosystem, home to many shark species, some of which are protected, such as this pajama shark, as well as its cousin, the leopard cat shark. Shy sharks are a distinct genus of cat shark found along the coastal waters of South Africa, consisting of four species. Three, such as this dark shy shark, live along the south and west coast, whilst the Natal shy shark lives along the east coast and is the only species currently protected in South Africa. As listed on the IUCN Red List, the puff at a shy shark, also known as Happy Eddie, is the most threatened of the shy shark species. It is the only one listed as endangered, whilst the Natal and Brown shy sharks are listed as vulnerable, and the Dark shy shark has least concern. No assessments have been made by the IUCN since 2019, however, and things may have changed, but this is unlikely. The largest cause of the decline of this species is of course humans. In addition to living amongst the kelp, these sharks inhabit sand beds which were subject to bottom trawling, a practice which has vastly declined luckily. Fishermen and lobster catchers also consider them a pest as they eat their bait. Any that they catch are often killed and tossed overboard. But climate change is also predicted to have a major impact on the species. Ocean acidification has been shown to increase denticle corrosion of their skin, leading to increased turnover and less efficient hydrodynamics, costing more energy to the shark. Temperature rises are also predicted to have an effect. Higher temperatures result in faster growth of egg embryos and shorter growth periods. The implications of this are understudied however, and any impacts need to be known, due to the sometimes questionable egg placement. There are currently no species specific conservation measures in place for this animal. But the shark cannot be protected simply by protecting it only. They are typically nocturnal hunters and feed on a wide variety of animals such as crabs and fish, as well as polychaete worms that are buried in the sand. These animals are much better studied and have been shown to be majorly threatened by climate changes and even some by invasive species. These small sharks are just a fraction of the species that are in trouble in South Africa though. Marine protected areas are vital for their preservation, as well as that of many other shark species. But not enough action is taken outside of these areas. Species that are considered endangered and decreasing are still free game to be caught and killed, without any consequences. Without proper action and protection, this iconic species may one day be lost to us forever. <laughs>